Gatlin, where you come from. Um, who would you invite uh, them for a day? You know, if there's any character that you dislike most writing about at the same time, and is there any unusual character that you come to love and you wish that you could have done more? Oh, uh, I think all the characters that you love, you wish you could do more for and with. I uh, I hate writing uh, Link's mother, Mrs. Lincoln. She's despicable and it's difficult to write her in, in such a way that she doesn't come off to me like a comic strip villain. But uh, she's difficult for me. Um, I think the good thing about a small town is that you're loved and the bad thing about a small town can be that you're judged. So really the way I feel about most of those characters is I feel two ways about them. You know, even our characters who are not so nice, I try to see them two ways. And, um, so even when, it, like in the second book, Lena is fairly dark for the beginning, she's having a hard time at least, and I feel you know, I feel I understand what she's going through, but she makes some difficult decisions. I try to see them in, in more depth in just one way. Um, but definitely, I, w I like to spend time, I think, with Macon. I like the way he thinks. I have a, he, he's funny to me, and he's very learned, so I appreciate that. And also Marianne. I like the scenes when the two of them are together. I like when Alma and Megan are together. They're so different, and they're both so powerful in their own ways. Alma is a great character, so I would like to be eating some of her pie. That would, I would, yeah. If, if if a character was making my dinner, I would sit down definitely to her pie. Um, although I'd also like to see what Kitchen's magical table would come up with for me. So. To share with us any other uh, alternative ending to the stories that you would have in mind that you know that Kemi and, and yourself have thought about for the third book, you know, I mean, or even did you ever argue and even object, you know, even for yourself? And is there plans that they announce that you'll be writing solo? Because I heard that you were writing solo uh, for, for shortly yeah. after the third series. Um, could you give us also more insight uh, about your new, your, about your new work? Well, I will say uh, there's not much I can share in terms of alternative endings. Although, and I don't talk about this often, our first book um, did not originally end the way it ended. It had a different ending when we first went out with it, and then we were reading it over, and we just realized it had been there all along, sort of the ending that there was, and that's it. we ended up revising it. But, um, and of course, the, the way we changed the ending then sort of changed the whole next book. So things have a way of creeping up on you like that. Um, we did put a lot of thought into the ending of the third book, and we also, we planned out our whole series all along. So we've known what was going to happen um, after the first book pretty, pretty clearly. Um, so we have thought about that, but, but in terms of the big picture, we thought about a lot of it at the very start, and then we've sort of refined that plan as it went along, and our characters have changed, and when our characters change and grow, it changes, like I said. Um, but, uh, but they haven't done anything, there's nothing that's happened that hasn't felt true or right, and we're actually just finishing the last book now, I'm actually revising it as soon as we stop talking. <laughs> and, uh, and that's a very emotional thing um, to come to the ending of a series that has been so good to you and that you have cared about so much. It's like a wedding and a graduation and a funeral a little bit. It's very emotional. So I cried when I ended the draft. Cammie cried when she ended the, you know, her end of what she was working on. Our editor cried when she, when she finished it, just from the emotionality of finishing. So that's been very interesting. In terms of our new project, Cammie and I um, are, have sort of, we've been through so much in this series together that our shared voice sort of belongs to the beautiful creature series. We've, we purposely chose to write quite different projects for our for solo projects just to make sure we gave ourselves some room 
because we still needed to go back and work on beautiful creatures. So hers is a very dark, very dark story about ghosts and demons. And mine is uh, more of in the vein of Hunger Games. You know, it's, uh, more of the, it's sort of a sci-fi and paranormal combination. So we'll see. My, I sold the first two books to my publisher, Little Brown, that's my same editor. And the second book is set in Southeast Asia, so I'm very excited. I was going, I ha I'm doing some research uh, while I'm here.